So guys, it is not necessary but still please like or dislike the video. At the very beginning of the movie, we come to know that the dead body of a famous actress Anna Fritz has been found there during a party. This meant that Anna Fritz had died suddenly due to some reason and now her dead body had arrived in the mortuary. After this we are shown two friends, one of whom was named Daju. Both of them had come to meet their friend Pao in the hospital. Actually all three of them were going to go to a party together. But Pao's shift was about to end after an hour because Pao worked in the morgue of this hospital. After this, all three friends come out and hear all three of them drink a lot. And he also starts talking about Anna. Then Dudu asks Pao if we can see his dead body. Now because it was risky, Pao refuses because by doing this he could also lose his job. Now because Anna was a famous actress as well as very beautiful, Dudu was insisting again and again to see Anna. Then when Dudu insists so much, both his friends agree. In such a situation, Pao risks his job and brings his friends to a place where no one was allowed to go. After this all three of them finally come to the mortuary. Here Pao stands near a dead body and he says that it is Anna's dead body. But as soon as Pao removes the clothes from the dead body, it turns out to be the dead body of an old woman. Seeing this, Dadu and his other friend get very scared. Actually, Pao was joking with both of them. After this, Pao shows Anna's real dead body to his friends. When he removes the cloth from Anna's face, we see that Anna was really very beautiful. Seeing this, Dadu further removes the clothes from her dead body because he could not believe that he was standing near the dead body of such a famous actress. He starts touching Anna's body. Now, both of Dadu's friends find this very strange because it was not a good thing to do this with a dead body. Then Dadu deliberately asks his friend also to touch Anna. And then Dadu deliberately does the same to his friend. But after this, Dadu crosses all limits. He says he wants to sleep with Anna. Then Dadu's friend forbids him from doing so. But Dadu was a demand on his insistence. Dadu wanted to do this because he had that famous actress near him who was very beautiful. Whether she was alive or dead, it would not make any difference to him. Then Pao tells both of them that I also did this once. But their friend was the only one who felt that this was wrong and that they should not do this. But now, because he was with his friends, he has to obey his friends. Of course he should not do this like his friends, but he will have to bear it, he will have to see everything. After this he takes these three drugs. Then after this Pao and his other friend come to a separate room and there Dudu sleeps with Anna's dead body. Then Pao goes after Dudu and he also does the same. But then suddenly we see a very surprising thing and that is that suddenly Anna's eyes open, she becomes alive again. But Pao also does not know that Anna is now alive. But when he comes to know about this, he gets scared and starts screaming. Then hearing his shouting, Dadu and his friend also come there. Then Pao tells them that Anna is now alive. Pao and Dadu get very scared after seeing Anna alive. Because Anna knew that both of them had done such a bad thing to her, then it was obvious that Anna would go out and tell this to the police, and then she would be punished. Thinking all this, Dadu makes a plan to kill Anna, because he did not want to take any kind of risk. But here Dadu's friend helps Anna. Here Dadu's friend does not agree with his decision to kill Anna. Because how can they murder someone like this? This is a big crime. Then Dadu's friend tells him that you did something wrong with Anna. So you should be punished for this. Then because of this, Dadu and his friend fight. And in this fight Dadu beats his friend a lot. Then Pao comes and stops both of them from fighting. Then Dadu realizes that he has hit his friend so badly. Due to which his friend has got a deep injury on his head and a lot of blood is also coming out from his head. That's why both his friends think of giving him first aid. But then we see that one of Pao's colleagues comes here with a dead body. Pao's colleague keeps the dead body there and locks the mortuary and leaves. Meaning now these three could not go out from here. So it is obvious that he could not give first aid even to his friend. Here even Anna could not do anything to save herself because she had come back to life after many hours. Hence her legs were completely lifeless and her hands were also not moving. Then Pao and Dadu bring Anna and their friend to another room. After this Pao changes his clothes, but then his colleague also comes there. Then Anna tries to shout and tell him that I am alive and in danger. But before she can say this, Dadu closes her mouth by placing his hand on her mouth. After this Pao leaves from there with his colleague. Dadu's friend was not breathing at all, seeing which Dadu gets very nervous. 
Then Anna says that maybe he is dead now. And after some time, when Pao comes back, he also comes to know that his friend is now dead, due to which Pao starts crying. In such a situation, Dudu consoles her and says that it is not our fault in this, it was just an accident. Then Anna tells Dudu that you will go to jail for all this. Hearing this Dudu tells him to shut up. After this Dudu brings Pao outside and makes a plan. Dudu tells him that if we get caught then in our future, our life, everything will be ruined. That is why we will have to hide our friend's dead body somewhere. And at the same time we will also have to kill Anna. Inside Anna throws herself down from the stretcher. She takes out the mobile from her friend's pocket and tries to call someone for help. Just then Pao and Dudu also come inside and they snatch the mobile from him. When Dudu looks at the dial history, he finds that Anna had called someone but could not reach him. Then both of them start taking Anna to another place. And then someone calls on his friend's mobile. And this was a call from the same person whose number Anna had dialed. Actually, Anna had called her father. And as Dudu picks up the call, Anna shouts and calls her father and asks for help. But Pao closes her mouth by placing her hand on his mouth. And Dudu tells his dad that the call was made by mistake. Saying this, he switches off the phone. Then Dudu slaps Anna hard. On which Anna tells him that you will definitely be punished for this. Then Dudu shouts and tells Anna that don't forget that just a little while ago, you were a dead body, and now I am going to make you a dead body again. After this Dudu goes out from there to take the container, so that he can put his friend's dead body in it, and take it somewhere. Pao also starts tying Anna's hands and feet from behind. Then Anna tells him that there is no need for him to support Dudu, because it is not your fault because you have not done anything, everything has been done by him, and he is a liar. Anna says that he is the one who killed your friend, to which Pao says yes, it is fine, but it was an accident, on which Anna tells him that no, it is not so, in fact when you had gone out with your colleague, Dodu strangled his friend to death. Then suddenly Pao starts thinking about it, but then he tapes Anna's mouth and closes it, and starts cleaning the blood that had come out from his friend's head. In such a situation, Anna takes advantage of the opportunity and drags herself out of there and escapes from there. Dudu is also coming back with a container, but Pao was busy cleaning the blood. Then Dudu comes there and tells Pao that Anna has run away. Then both of them start searching for Anna. Anna has dragged herself into the elevator and she's just about to leave. But then Dudu comes there and stops the lift door before it closes. And he comes to the mortuary again with Anna. After this Pao tells Dadu that I know that you are the one who killed our friend. On which Dadu tells him that yes, it was I who killed him, but it was an accident. I didn't kill him intentionally. To which Pao says no, you are lying, you have strangled him to death. Then Dadu gets nervous after hearing this, because in reality he was the one who had killed his friend by strangulating him. But Dadu still denies and says that no, this is a lie, and you should not fall for Anna's words. After this Pao and Dudu plan how to kill Anna, because they do not want to leave any evidence after killing Anna. After thinking a little, Dudu asks Anna to kill her by stopping her breathing. In such a situation, Pao brings a cloth to Dudu. Then Dudu gives the cloth back to Pao and tells him that you will kill Anna, not me. But Pao doesn't want to kill Anna, because Dudu had also killed his friend. Dudu did not want to make himself responsible for this entire crime. That's why Dudu holds Pao's hand and forcefully places a cloth over Anna's mouth. When he does not remove the cloth for some time, Anna dies once again. After this, he places Anna's body on a stretcher and puts his friend's dead body in a container. Then Dudu takes that container and leaves from there. On the other hand, Pao also starts cleaning Anna's body. Dudu starts returning after throwing his friend's dead body. Pao had cleaned Anna's dead body thoroughly, and now he was about to leave. But before leaving, Pao removes the cloth from Anna's mouth once, and he sees that Anna is still alive. So Pao tells Anna to keep quiet and relax. Now the question arises here that Anna was dead, then how did she become alive again? Actually, when Anna was telling Pao that it was all Dudu's fault, you did not do anything, then both of them, e Anna and Pao, made a plan. According to the plan, when Anna was about to suffocate, she reacted as if she was really dead. And here he acted so well that he was dying that Dudu did not even know about it. After this Dudu had also returned to the mortuary. After this both the friends start leaving from there. Then before leaving Dudu checks his wallet. 
but his ID card was not there. Then Dudu comes back to the mortuary to get his ID card. Now here Pao tries to stop him, but Dudu comes in, and he also sees that Anna is still alive. Then Dudu gets very angry at Pao after seeing Anna alive. He starts to strangle him, but he doesn't want to kill Pao like his first friend, so he lets him go. But then Anna kills Dudu by slitting his throat. Seeing this, Pao tells Anna that this was not our plan, you did this wrong. Then Anna kills Pao also. And with this, this story ends. So guys, how did you like this story? Please tell me in the comment box, because I see your every comment.